Peace, y'all. It's your boy Zulu King Street Fan 47, man. Hey, man. <clears throat> Last night was a good fight. In case y'all ain't see it, I'm low to AC, man. It was a good fight to me, man. Let me kick with y'all real quick, talking about the fight. I had to go grab me something to eat, man. <clears throat> I'm hungry. Yeah, but Lang got lost to the Mexicans, so I had to go get me some, some birria tacos. You know what I'm saying? Get me some, some tacos. But yeah, man. What y'all thought about the fight last night, man? I think I predicted the first round knocked down, not knock out. But it happened in the third. I say either side was gonna knock somebody down the first round. Happened in the third. I said the fight was gonna be over in the fourth round. It went 12 rounds. It went the distance. Um I think Berlanga did good, man. Uh, for a cherry pick fight. You know, Canelo picked a, a fight that he knows he could win. And I think even he was impressed. I think Berlanga. Gained a whole new fan base. Uh, I think Berlanga has some real good sportsmanship. You know what I'm saying? Um, he said, he grabbed Canelo at the end of the fight and hugged him and said, you know, it's an honor to fight you. You know, I always looked up to you since I was a kid fighting. You know what I'm saying? You're a legend. He also said, you know, it's sad that we didn't get to talk before this fight, so we had to be on bad terms. The, the whole the whole beginning of this fight, you know what I'm saying? And um, they had to be like, you know, sell the fight. You got to sell the fight. You got to talk shit to each other, you know, all that. So, uh, but but I think Berlanga, Berlanga got dropped in the third. <coughs> in the third round, he got up immediately. Now, I noticed something about him when he gets dropped. This is the second time that I've seen him he got dropped. It's not like he gets knocked out. He's not getting knocked out. He's just... He falls down, he hits the ground, he starts punching his gloves like, damn, he caught me. You know what I'm saying? Like, he caught me. But he is coherent. He's alert. He knows what happened. He knows he just got dropped. And he's like, damn, man, but he caught me. You know what I'm saying? He gets up right away. He's not like he's discombobulated. I don't know, but this sauce is like, here, look kind of high. Boy, what you think? That shit, ooh. I just put some on there, but I think that was a mistake. But he, uh, he definitely, like, you know, he got dropped. He got up ASAP and, and was back in there. Um, he went the distance with a legend. He went the distance with Canelo, you know? I think a lot of people didn't expect that. They didn't expect him to go that, that distance. Everybody knew that he was going to lose. Everybody knew that. I was going for him to win. He, Everybody knows a cherry pick fight. Got another pick, the easy fight. But it turned out to be uh, probably a little harder than he thought. Um, I think Belengo put on for the uh, for the Puerto Ricans, man. He didn't make us look bad. He lost, man. But, hey, man, that's what, that's what boxing is, bro. You know what I'm saying? You're going to win some, and you're going to lose some. That was his first <coughs> big, big match. And I think he did, uh, under the pressure, I think he did good. When he was walking out to the ring, he looked nervous. Once he got in the ring, after he got dropped and he got back up, it looked like he loosened up a little bit. You know what I mean? Um, they was going at it, though. Yeah. Oh, man, I bit my tongue. They was going at it. I think it was a good fight, man. When they was hitting each other in the hip, that shit was funny. You know, they was hitting each other in the hip, holding each other, swinging each other. They had, like, a little, you know, tension going on there. And um, I think it made for a good fight. 
it made for a good fight. He stood toe to toe with Canelo 12 rounds. You know what I'm saying? And 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 he lost gracefully. He he um uh, he was a great a great sportsman. He has a great sport sportsmanship. You know what I mean? And I think that he gained a whole new fan base because of that. You know, as soon as the interview said, he said, yo, I want to thank God. You know what I'm saying? I want to, you know, do this, do that. And shout out to Canelo for giving me the opportunity for, um, because he's at the point where he's picking his fights and he could pick his fight and he gave me the chance. You know what I'm saying? And, um, he was, uh, he showed real good sportsmanship, and I, that, that's a big thing. You know what I'm saying? That's a big thing because a lot of people didn't like him because they were saying he was talking mad shit. He was cocky, arrogant, you know, and all that. But you got to sell the fight. You know what I'm saying? You got to sell the fight. So after that, at the end of the fight, they seen how humble he was. I think he gained a whole new fan base. I think he's going to go far. You know, imagine what it is. You just fought a legend, one of the greatest boxers of all time right now, Mexican boxers right now, going to be probably a Hall of Famer. And and um, he tells you in front of the world, keep going, keep fighting, stay focused, you're going to be a champion, you know. So that's not really a loss. It's like a lesson, you know what I'm saying, to me. He got to go through that. It was a lesson that Canelo had to take from Mayweather when he fought Mayweather, you know what I'm saying? It was a lesson that he had a that he had a he had to take, you know what I'm saying? And after that, he ain't lose to that Bebo, however you say that guy's name. He lost to him, so he got two losses. But after that Mayweather loss, he ain't lose no more. But it was a lesson. And I think that's kind of what happened with Belenga. Excuse me. Belenga needs to do something about his right hand. I know this last fight he had a torn bicep and he fought. He still crushed the dude with the eye socket. He got dropped. He still won, though. But he had a torn bicep. He's had, had surgery on that bicep before. He needs to do something about that right hand. Let it heal correctly. Take some time off. Something. Because uh, you could tell one of them. I forgot what round it was. He threw a punch. It was later in the fight. Probably like the last three rounds. He hit the dude. He hit Canelo. And he, and he shook his hand like, oh, like he messed something up. And then after that, he never threw that hand no more. He was fighting one-handed fight for the last two or three rounds. You know what I'm saying? He was tossing here and there, but it was most he wasn't throwing it. That's his power plan, man. So he wasn't throwing it like that. But um, I think it was a good fight all in all. Uh, was, I think it was a pretty good fight that I seen uh, out of all the fights that I've seen lately. It was a pretty good fight, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm not, I'm not uh, um Belenga didn't embarrass us as Puerto Ricans. You win some, you lose some. He went 12 rounds with one of the greatest fighters there is, you know what I'm saying? So definitely gotta keep your head up on that, man. And come back and he gonna I think he's gonna be a, a, a face in boxing. Uh, especially a port for the Puerto Ricans. I think he's gonna be a face in boxing. I think he's gonna be a force uh, once he learns and all the little, uh, you know, you, once you, you know, they're talking about ring IQ. <coughs> now, when you learn with somebody that Canelo's fought a lot of the greats, uh, he's fought Mayweather, he's fought what the fuck going on here. He fought a lot of people that have good IQ, you know, like like Cotto, nigga, like you know what I'm saying, in the ring. And then Belenga fights Canelo, so he's learning all that IQ that he ain't had. So, you know, you got to go through the experience of it. And um, I think he's going to be a force to be reckoned with in boxing uh, once everything, once he gets everything aligned. I think he's going to be, I think he's going to be a good fighter. Uh, he fought toe to toe, you know what I'm saying? There wasn't really like a lot of running, which I liked at that, you know what I'm saying? It was just some brawling shit. Um, it was a good fight for me, you know what I'm saying? It was a good fight, I think. You know, I, I liked it to watch. I was watching that, uh, what's the other jit? Uh, Danny Garcia. And that fight was boring, you know what I'm saying? Like, he was out of it, bro. He washed up or something. They talking about his mental health. His father kept asking him if he's all right and all that. I just went and started watching the UFC until Belenga's fight came on, you know what I'm saying? But I was going for Belenga. He didn't win. But it went to lose or draw. I told you I'm going with the Puerto Ricans. And he ain't let, you know what I'm saying? To me, he ain't let us down. You know, he did good. He represented. He still toe-to-toe. -to -toe, went the distance, 12 rounds. Um, and I think he's going to be the face of one of the faces of boxing from now on. And um, he represented it, man. He represented it, man. He represented it, man. And, you know, and I think he's a, he's a good dude, man. You know what I'm saying? Uh, he got his son there with him. I heard his son screaming, Daddy, Daddy. That, that shit was funny as hell. Like, it was dope. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, right now, he just changed the whole dynamics of his family. And uh, I think that's going to... That's gonna help him stay more focused on the boxing. You know what I'm saying? 
uh, the financial stability, being able, you know, to provide for your family and all that type of stuff. It's one less stress and he can keep focus on his boxing career, which I think he's going to do great in. You know what I'm saying? I think he's going I think he's I think he's going to be a force to be reckoned with, man. Y'all let me know what y'all think, man. What y'all thought about this fight? You know what I'm saying? I thought it was a good fight, man. Some people, you know, it was a cherry pick fight, man. Canelo picked this fight cuz he knew he was going to win, but I didn't I don't think he thought it was going to go that far, and I thought he, he Canelo thinks it was going to be an easier fight than what it was. But Jit definitely represented. Shout out to Belenga, man. You know what I'm saying? It's time it's your time now. Get back on the, get back on the, on on your training and keep your foot on their neck, man. You know what I'm saying? And um, you're going to do good. You're going to do good, man. You got a legend telling you in the ring you're going to be a champion. So you're going to do good, man. You know what I'm saying? This your boy's little King Street fan, 407, man. Y'all know what it is, man. We all gas, no brakes. If you ain't going to be good, be safe, you heard.